Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so I know I have been totally MIA here lately. You guys, I have had so many crazy things going on that I am just struggling to find time to bring you guys some videos. And you guys are gonna have to excuse my voice. Yesterday, um, I started kind of losing my voice a little bit, so it's been really like throaty and scratchy. Anyway, um, I have got a thrift haul to show you guys today. I have so many different videos that I need to make and so many different videos I need to edit and just give you guys a lot of content, but oh, you would not believe how crazy it's been. I'm hoping, however, um, this week coming up will be our last week of homeschool. So summer will be here and so I will have, I think, a bit more time, although this is going to be the summer of I gotta get all kinds of stuff done, seriously, especially in preparation for our next school year. But we, I've got bee stories for you guys. There's been some craziness with the, our, with my beehives. Anyway, I probably won't get into that right now. I'll save that for another video, maybe like our next episode of what's going on at the farmhouse. But just bear, just please be patient with me. Stick around, don't go anywhere. I will get more on a regular schedule, but it's just, it's just been nuts, guys. But me vida loca this is just real life um i have spray paint all over my hands because i have been spray painting we're sitting in my screen one of our well our screen porch right now which i'm actually in the process of getting ready to redecorate and all that stuff so and then you guys are gonna have to forgive me i know i probably look like a hot mess right now i've been i've been out painting it's hot and it's sweaty my hair is crazy i need to dye my hair because my roots are showing with my grays um but if I waited until I was all pretty and had a pretty background, it'd probably be another week before I got this video made. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to random. You can see all this stuff sitting next to me. Um, some of it is brand new things from like TJ Maxx, and I'll probably do a separate like home decor type of a video for you guys um, with that stuff. I just want to show you like the thrifted stuff today so I don't know how it's gonna be unorganized it's gonna be another one of my unorganized hauls because I'm just gonna kind of open bags and show I found a beautiful blue willow plate it was only three dollars and you guys know I love some blue and white and you know I love dishes too and I don't think I actually of all the blue and white dishes I have I don't really think I have any blue willow so that might be my actual first blue willow plates okay, so I found this cute milk glass Bell. It's hobnail and it's super cute. It was only two dollars and fifty cents. You can see it's got the little bell thing in there. Super cute to add to my milk glass collection. Okay, so I found a couple more milk glass pieces. Um, anyway, I found this super pretty hobnail milk glass candy dish that comes with a lid. It's perfect condition. You know I love milk glass, but especially hobnail milk glass. This has probably become my most favorite. A lot of milk glass collectors, I think, prefer the hobnail. I love this. I'm pretty selective now with what I purchase when it comes to milk glass because I've built my collection up to where now I feel like it can be really selective. But it was only $6.50 and it was hobnail, so I had to have it. It's just super pretty. So here I have, this. it's been, like I said, it's been a little while um, since I got some of this stuff. So I don't know what the deal was here. But I've got this super cute little hobnail milk glass little dish. But then I randomly have this little plate. And I'm sure that when I purchased this, I don't know if this little dish was maybe sitting like this. And I, you know, thought that it was a set and I picked them up together. I'm not really sure because they have two different price tags. So this is $2.50 and this was $3.50. So, like I said, I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that this is what was going on when I um, when I picked it up and I just thought it was a set. But regardless, I'm happy to have it and I'll probably use it just like this together. You guys, I think in like the last um, thrift haul, anyway, I don't know if it was the last one, but I showed you a couple teacups and saucers that I had. Um, my mother-in-law had given me some, and I've probably picked up a couple here and there too, so I'm kind of starting to try and collect really pretty teacups and saucers. Um, and so when I was at the thrift store, I found this set. It was $3.50, and it's really pretty. You guys, don't look at all the spray paint that I have on my fingers. <laughs> my fingernails look like crap. Anyway, it's got these really super pretty yellow roses on it, and it's trimmed in gold. 
also picked up this one for three dollars and fifty cents and it is trimmed in gold as well and it has yellow flowers on it as well but this one is totally different this one's really pretty it's got that um, Tiffany blue in the background of it as well and um, not from a thrift store this was at like a little um, festival type of thing that we went to this lady was selling this teacup and saucer it was five dollars for the set and I just love those pretty little blue flowers that are all over it isn't that so pretty super pretty so for two dollars I found this super cute soap um, container and you guys what do you see you see some bumblebees yes you do <laughs> it looks like maybe kind of like calla lilies on there but the little bumblebees I just thought that was really cute for two dollars and you know I love some bees did find another milk glass at the restore this is like a hobnail as well and this was only one dollar I mean how can you pass this up I know I said I'm limiting myself on milk glass but when it's hobnail and it's a nice sized dish like this for only a dollar that is a steal I randomly I when I, I told you guys before you guys know that I like to look for home decor like design decorating books I also love to look at gardening style books especially if they're hardback so I found this really nice one. It's Southern Living Garden Guide. And what's cool about this one um, is it has some extra little things. I'm, I'm assuming the previous owner kind of placed in there. So I'll be excited to kind of dig through the pages of this and see what I can find out. Okay, so just randomly I found this super cute. I don't know if there was a candle in this at one time or if it's actually just some kind of a little cup but it was only 50 cents and it's just plastic but i love that it had like the gardening tools and like a watering can on it and i love the color and i thought this would look really pretty either in a, like my she shed which is on hold but will come eventually or um you know to use somewhere where i have that you know i've, I've really been decorating with a lot of botanicals and you know greenery and stuff like that so i love this type of a theme guys remember when I purchased all of those um, glass sundae dishes and ice cream dishes and I had said something about how I had had a you know, hard time finding them and then all of a sudden I found all those ones at that wonky thrift store. Well, when I was in ReStore, I, they, I had picked up several different sizes if you guys can remember and I wanted some smaller ones because I was talking about how they were just a great, great portion. Well, I went into the restore and they had a whole set of these, four of them, and they were only a dollar a piece. And so of course I picked them up and these are just little guys, but I love them because like I said, they are a perfect portion. It's not too much ice cream. To me, it's just, it's just absolutely perfect. And they are so stinking cute. I love the little fluted glass at the top. So I have this thing for picnic baskets. I have a couple of them. Um, and the restore had this one for $5 and it's really sturdy and it's got like that hard, um, lid that of course you can open and this is so stinking cute and so I had to pick this up as well okay so very randomly here <laughs> I picked up a pair of boots these are so cute I love these and they were only seven dollars and they literally look brand new um, they've got this cute little buckle on them and they're kind of like a mid midi or whatever you want to call it just a brown boot um, they were my size and like I said they look brand new and I think these will look super cute with some jeans and, the, and a cute little sweater in the winter time we have a pair of these I say we because my I take a lot of my oldest daughter's shoes <laughs> um, or she takes mine whatever but anyway we had a pair that were kind of similar but they had like these little like stud things all over them because so I liked these because they were just really plain and super cute so I also picked up this cute little cabinety shelving unit for $6.50. Um, the reason why I picked this up is because I'm looking for different things that I'm going to be able to decorate the chicken coop with. And I thought being the fact that the little doors on the cabinet have chicken wire on them already, I thought how appropriate. It's super cute. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Maybe just like some little collectibles of like chicken stuff but it was in perfect condition and it's got the little drawers that open as well and I thought it was a really great price and it's just super cute. All right, so I love like flower sack towels and I, you know, I love the whole like vegetable garden, botanicals and stuff like that. So I found this super cute little flower sack towel. It was $1 and it's got cute little like um, spring onions and cabbage and pears and strawberries and you know I love strawberries too. So it was, it was actually $1.99, which I think is a little crazy for one little towel, but it was so cute, I just couldn't pass it up. Always looking for 
linens, like tablecloths and napkins and all that stuff. And so I found this really pretty tablecloth. Um, it's like this, you know, this just a sage green type of a color and white background. And it's got these, I don't know what these are. I know what they are, but like it's slipping my mind. Are they like um, pomegranates? I don't know. But it's like a super pretty color red. And this was only $1.99. And so I thought that was an excellent deal and it's of course it's cloth and it's pretty nice size and it feels like a really good quality But what was so exciting about finding that tablecloth is they also had the matching Linen napkins and I love these um, They were 99 cents for a set of four and I bought two sets So I got eight all together for two dollars. I thought that was a really great deal because you know really nice table linens can be really expensive and I absolutely love April Cornell stuff like oh my gosh like mind-blowing love I love 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 her stuff um, and I fell in love with it when I went we went to Asheville last year and I went into an April Cornell store and like I said I mean oh her stuff like, like they have clothing and their table linens they just have everything and I want it all but it is so so expensive and so um, I'm always looking for stuff that kind of reminds me of April Cornell, but I have been lucky enough to see some of it at TJ Maxx on occasion. So I always, always, always check out like the table runners and the, um, you know, the tablecloths and all that stuff, especially looking for April Cornell because, oh, my favorite by far. I found this really pretty white, um, you can call it milk glass or whatever. I, I don't know if it's officially milk glass, but that's kind of what I refer to it as. But it's like this, I guess, what do they call these? Like a compote? Is that what they're called? Tell me if I'm right about that. Um, it's just like this big bowl that you can like display fruits and whatnot in. And I just thought it was really pretty. I don't have a bowl like this. And I love like this kind of like almost like a ribbon type of a trim. And I just thought it was super pretty. Um, I actually must have accidentally took the price tag off. I'm not sure how much it was, but I know it was not expensive. It was at the wonky thrift store. So honestly, it was probably $1.25. <laughs> because you know, if you've watched my other thrift haul videos and I talk about the wonky thrift store, I say that $1.25 is literally like their favorite price. <laughs> okay, so super randomly, you guys have said before, sometimes I will, um, Sometimes I'll go to thrift stores specifically maybe looking for some clothing, but most of the time I'm not. Most of the time I'm just, I'll randomly hit up clothing. And you guys have told me before in other videos, I'm like, do you want to see that type of stuff too? And you guys were like, yes. So this day I only picked up two clothing items besides the shoes, of course. Um, one of them was this really cute little dress. I probably can't get it all in frame. Let me step back. It's kind of like, it's just like a shorter dress really nice material and I love the print I'm a big fan of like cheetah leopard prints um, but I thought this would be flattering for my particular shape usually this style of dress is it's kind of sleeveless and there's not really much to it but I just thought it was really cute I love the print and of course at the thrift store you know I probably only paid like six dollars for it it is the brand Gabby Sky, which I have never heard of. So, but I'm assuming it almost reminds me of probably like something like a boutique type of um, a brand. But I thought the quality seems really cute and I love, love it. So hopefully it looks cute on me. <laughs> okay, so this one, this next dress is like super fun. Um, and as soon as I seen this hanging, I had to run to grab it real quick. So I'm like, if this is what I think it is, I'm so getting this. And it sure enough was. It is this dress and i am not going to be able to get this all on frame because of where i'm at but it is an off the shoulder and you can see it's got that um material that's coming down and then it's the full skirt and dress and at the bottom you can see that flower and bird or or is it a bird yeah is it i don't know if it's a flower and a bird or whatever but it's embroidered on there and you can see all this red um lace so for Halloween last year, I kind of slightly dressed up a little bit as like a day of the dead. I kind of did my makeup. I'm not really good at like that type of makeup, but I did my makeup a little like quickly and I had this really cute little thing in my hair and that was my thing, a little day of the dead. So when I saw this, I was like, I bet you I could wear this as a Halloween costume and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do day of the dead again this year but this time i'm gonna try and get like maybe my oldest daughter to do my makeup because she's pretty good at that type of stuff and um i'm gonna have this dress on and i'm gonna try and talk my husband 
into doing like a day of the dead like skeleton type of a guy so I just thought this was so pretty it's just perfect for Halloween Okay, another thing that I found for our chicken coop was this really cute little picture of this hen in a little box and it was only three dollars and fifty cents it's probably about an eight by ten size but me and Olivia saw this and we thought this would just like I said be super cute and perfect for the chicken coop and so we had to pick this up so last um, lastly I just randomly picked up my son found this really cute little Lego game we hope all the pictures pieces are in it. It was $5.50, which I think is a little ridiculous, um, especially because we don't know if all the pieces are in it. So I'm hoping that it is. And then we found a little crappy jump rope, <laughs> which was $2.55. I don't think that's a very good deal, but they wanted it. So that's what's a mom to do, right? That is actually it for my thrift haul today. Um, the other stuff that you kind of see sitting over here is actually all brand new things from TJ Maxx and Tractor Supply and probably some things from Ross. So I'm going to do that in a separate video. So stay tuned for that. I'll probably let me know in the comment section what your favorite item is that I found. And um, I know another thing guys, like the last, I think video, maybe the last two videos I have had, um, just I have gotten far way far behind on leaving everybody like a thank you or you know responding to your comments on those videos I've been trying to read them but like I said it has just been so not so crazy here you guys please just try to understand so that is it for now I will see you guys in the next video hopefully it won't take me so long to get the next video out to you guys I hope y'all have a blessed day and thanks so much for spending some time with me bye